Welcome to Royal Secrets. Meghan Markle said she is still unsure of Archie's status as a prince. The son of Royal Harry and Meghan Markle, Archie Mountbatten Windsor, is seventh in line to the throne of the United Kingdom, but is not a prince. However, you can address him as master if you ever find yourself in a room with him. Speaking to Oprah during a two-hour interview special, Meghan disclosed the significance of her son's title, or more specifically, the fact that he doesn't have one. When Archie was born in 2019, there were suggestions that Meghan and Harry had chosen not to bestow their baby with the HRH title on purpose. In reality, Meghan claimed, this was not the case. According to Meghan, a secretive member of the royal family made the choice on their behalf, or firm. She said, it was not our decision to make. Other important issues took priority over the title issue. They wouldn't receive a security detail because the unborn kid would not be given the HRH designation. After stepping back, Markle and Harry no longer receive security, she claimed. Meghan said, having the title offers you the safety and security. Meghan and Harry did not take photos at the hospital after Archie was born, as William and Kate had done with their children, in part due to security concerns. Markle cited a 1917 King George V edict when she explained this to Oprah, which said that only Prince Charles, the Queen's eldest son, would be eligible for the HRH designation. According to Meghan, Prince William and his wife Kate were able to confer HRH titles on their three children when the Queen granted them a letters patent in 2012. No reason or conclusive response, Markle continued, has been given as to why Archie was not proclaimed a prince, but his first cousins, George, Charlotte, and Louis, were. I heard a lot of it through Harry, they believed it was the right choice, she remarked. However, Meghan implied that Archie's race might be a factor in the choice. She and Harry revealed that early in their courtship, a member of the royal family raised concerns about the skin tone of their future kid. Meghan revealed that she and Harry had discussions about what it would mean or look like for your baby to be black. If that's the assumption you're making that would be a safe assumption, Markle said in response to Oprah's question. They were concerned that if he were too brown that that would be a problem? Later, Harry admitted that racism was a big part of the reason he and Markle departed the royal family. Meghan, who is expecting her second child, maintained that the titles were never her main concern despite the numerous surprising disclosures that emerged during the course of the conversation. I've been a waitress, an actress, a princess, and a duchess. I'm clear on who I am independent of that stuff. The most important title I will ever have is mom, she said. All the grandeur surrounding this stuff is an attachment I don't have. Should Prince Harry give up writing his book The Death of the Queen has caused a delay in the release of Prince Harry's eagerly anticipated book, which was scheduled for later this year. According to a recent survey of readers of Express.co.uk, Prince Harry should abandon his future autobiography. Following the passing of Queen Elizabeth II, the Duke of Sussex's intimate and personal memoir is expected to be postponed, nevertheless, royal commentator Sandro Manetti has suggested that Harry should completely abandon his book in an effort to heal fences with the royal family. Last week, he stated to Express.co.uk, my greatest concern is the Harry book. The way publishing and the media operate, you don't get an advance that size unless there will be some criticism in it. Harry Need should destroy every copy of the book and give up on the undertaking. I am aware that it has been delayed, but I fail to see how it will be helpful given the timing soon after the Queen's passing and before his father's coronation. However, he is able to express himself if there is a specific issue he wants to talk about watching it will be fascinating. In response, Express.co.uk asked readers to vote in a poll that was open from 1 p.m. on Sunday, September 25, to 1 p.m. on Thursday, September 29. A total of 8,625 votes were cast, and 7,344 of them, or 85% of the readers, said that Harry should abandon his book. In the meantime, 14%, 1,174 people, responded no he shouldn't, and 1%, 107 people, stated they were unsure. As readers argued whether Harry should release his book, hundreds of comments were written beneath the related story. No, he should post it and deal with the consequences, if any, remarked user impartialista. 
R-A-F-F-N-E-L-O-G-G-74, another poster, added. Publish it so it's all out in the open. Additionally, username disgusted from it's too late to back out now, he remarked. That publishing would imply there is no going back for Harry, according to royal expert Robert Jobson. He stated in The Sun that Harry would be caught between wanting approval from his family and his wife's devotion. But now he finds himself in a catch-22 circumstance. Penguin Random House has agreed to pay him millions for a four-book agreement. He needs the cash to support his opulent Californian way of life. There will be no turning back for Harry once that book, which is currently being written, is published. On his memoir, Harry has spent the past two years working with Ghostwriter and Pulitzer Prize-winning author J.R. Moringer.